we done a bit of digging up, Tom, um, while you weren't here. Far up. And I actually came across a video. Ten I wasn't years there. Ago. I wasn't there. Ten, wasn't you there. look very different, Tabarakallah. Mashallah, this fitness enthusiast has really helped, Mashallah. You looked a bit different. I'm guessing you were about 23 in this video that I'm going to show. Okay. okay. You're going to find out. Go. Let's play the video. Tom Finch, this is your life. If these people were fasting, I had to fast as well. Alhamdulillah. I fasted the last week of Ramadan. It was a start. After telling my mother that I was going to be a, that I was going to be a Muslim, she didn't look at me for almost a week. Before speaking with her, I was happy that I'd found my religion after the prayer research and thought I'd invested to reach this decision. After seeing how upset my mother was, I began to doubt whether I was making the right decision. This was the woman who had carried me in her womb for nine months and cared for me as a child and had given me everything I ever needed. As you'd guess, by this stage I was pretty upset. After speaking with a friend, I was back on track after establishing that the reasoning behind making this change is, is for me. Pleasing my parents is important, but pleasing my creator was of ultimate importance. Wow. Wow. Allah Akbar. SubhanAllah. Take us back to that moment. What was it like? The first year. The first year coming to your parents and just saying, look, you know, this is what I've chosen. I guess what gets me a bit emotional is I think the dynamic between me and my mother. Um, my mother is is an amazing woman. Uh, she's the most important person in my life. And, uh, and she didn't receive the news um, particularly well. Um, I think she, I think in hindsight, she, she maybe understands it a bit better now, um, along with probably a few other people, but, um, it was very difficult for her. Um, in particular, the first, you know, the first few years, I think, I think it actually took, it probably took about three years for us to, um, pull together a, a relationship, which was, um, somewhat represented representative of what it used to be like my mother was like carry any excuse for a party finch like any 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 friday night like she would she would be inviting my friends over for for a party or a barbecue or a get together i wouldn't even know about wow. it i said oh finchy by the way i'm coming to your house friday i'm like wow. okay whatever you know i'll see you there type of thing so she's um, she's a machine um yes what do you think work what do you think you know didn't go to your advantage i'll tell you what did work uh grandkids so when grandkids came oh, wow. that changed the game it, <laughs> the it's, it's, you know it softened the hearts what well, didn't work yeah, well what didn't work well i think probably not sharing more sooner with my mother i think i think you know bringing someone along the journey you know, if someone's important if someone is really important to you and and and, and you're and you really want to make like a, a, address a serious problem that you have in your life whether you know whether it's a mental health issue or it's a it's a an iman or a faith issue or a health issue or whatever it is like if if you're going to make a big change in your life I think the wise approach is to you need a support team around you and you need to bring people on the journey. If you enjoyed this video and everything else that One Path does and would like to see us produce more content, then please support us. Go to www.onepathnetwork.com. You can support us from as little as $1 a day. Much love and appreciation, and may Allah bless you all.